Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and if it's the first time you're using this channel or viewing this channel, you can like, subscribe and share. Um, today I'm talking about the immigration update. Um, it's a recent update. I think it came into force just about a month and a half ago, and it's to do with the derivative residence um, for those of you who do not know what the derivative of residence is, I'm going to just read it out quickly. An EEA derivative residence card is a document issued to non-EEA non -EEA nationals on a variety of bases showing the right of residence um, is derived from EU law. Um, normally, um, what was the process before this update was that if, if the person was living in the UK unlawfully and had a British child or was the carer of a British adult, they could make an application to the Home Office in respect of derivative residence under EU Regulations 2016. Now, we all know that undocumented um, residents are a no-no. So the Home Office has put a stop to it. Under the Zambrano principle or the Zambrano cases, if you had a child born in the country, you could have been able to stay in the country if you could prove that by taking that child out of the country, it would experience extreme hardship. So quite a few people had been coming in under the Zambrano case law. So that's not well. The Home Office has made it practically impossible for any um, applicant to be able to do that. So what uh, now under the new law, rather than just making an application before, you have to actually apply for leave to remain under Appendix F for Freddie, M for mother. You've got to apply for that and goodness knows how much that is and once that has been refused you then I believe have to apply under article 8 which is e -A -E -C -H -R, human rights that needs to be refused so and that's obviously more money once that is refused you then have to appeal and when you appeal can you imagine how much that's going to cost so then you have to appeal. And once it's appealed and your appeal is exhausted, that means it goes to the tribunal, goodness knows what else, how much thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds that's going to cost you. Once you've exhausted that appeal, only then can you apply under the derivative residence application. I mean, it's not good. They might as well just say, look, you can't get it. But they can't say that because I guess it's against the law. So they're just finding ways to make it as difficult as possible so people don't even apply. I had somebody um, write to me the other day under this same thing. He had a child born in this um, country and he wanted to apply under the um, resident, under the Zambrano case law and the Home Office, nobody would help him. And now I can understand why, because you, nobody stands a chance in hell of getting through under this legislation, under this update. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, people previously denied can now go to the upper tribunal and say there's been a, chasing, a change in case law. Do you know how much it is? I mean, it's like £10,000 once it reaches that level, if not more. Um, the qualifying era, area for the um, derivative residents is Zambrano cases, Chen cases, Ibrahim and Tixira cases. And if there's a dependent child under the age of 18 in one of these categories, they are eligible. But like I said, you have to go through hoops to be able to get that application through and a lot of money. Um, yeah, it's not correct under EU law. 
but it is supported by the Home Office and the Home Office are a law unto themselves. We know that. So there's nothing we can really do. If you want something and you have to go through them to get it, I feel sorry for you. Anyway, short and sweet. Bye-bye.